Okay, if uh, you've been following the message of this video so far, you probably have discovered that uh, in our attempt to make a trip to uh, Tampa on uh, this past Saturday and visit quite, quite possibly the nation's youngest Cirrus instructor, CSIP, uh, we got held up a little bit. And um, the reason for the hold up is simple. Uh, we had an alternator one failure. So I thought I would take this moment to uh, Collins off anyway. Uh, I'm about 32 hours into my into my uh, required 50 hour oil change. So figured, you know, why not just change it now? I got the oil and uh, we'll go ahead and do an oil change with the help of my NP. So let's document that. Hopefully you can use it when you go to do service on your Cirrus. All right, so here we are. It works. My good buddy Jonathan run over here. If you need Cirrus work, Airworks, Sanford, KSFB, Southeast Ramp. Uh, these guys have been working on a flight school fleet of these Cirrus aircraft, so they know what they're doing. In fact, they figured out my field power bus. Is that what they call it? Field control module. Field control module. They figured out my field control module before they even pulled it apart. So, thumbs up there. Anyway, we're going to do an oil change on this thing, and uh, it'll be my first on Cirrus. So, Jonathan's going to help me out and uh, see how it goes. You recommend it. Okay. Man, it's just so simple. See this little piece here? Just push it up. It's got a quick connect fitting on, and it drains right there into the bucket. Just as simple as that. Now I'm sure it's gonna get more complicated from here, but <laughs> not a big deal. Change the oil on this. I like the fact there's a quick coupling here. You know, have to go screw in with a nut and then get oil all over your hand. And we just, just vented it, make it drain faster. I can see why we started it up, got it warm. See the heat coming off here. It'll flow easier. I only did like a minute run up, not even that. Good enough. So, it worked. What do you got, every Bocephus album playing? <laughs> this is, uh, I don't know. Jamie Johnson probably. Yeah, uh, it sounds like Hank Jr. or something. I think it's newer. This is newer. I think it's Jamie Johnson. It, he should show up soon. I don't know. He usually does. It gets repetitive. You got a station. Yeah, hey, Amazon. Yeah. It plays the same stuff, just like the radio. <laughs> Got an oil can opener? Yep. I got it. This is going to be great. Two portions of that right here. So the service bulletin for the nose landing gear, which is okay. the older revision for the 005. Okay. You have the gusset that doesn't come back far. On the newer revision, the gussets come back a little bit farther. So you want to check for cracks at this weld mount right here. Mm -hmm. Cracks up in here. And if we pulled off the sparing, you want to check up into here for cracks. Okay. But just, just That's going to be done on the annual, right? Annual, uh, they recommend every hundred. Okay, so yeah, this is just a visual check during the oil. Yeah, why not yeah. go down there? Sure. So, would it show up pretty clearly on the on the paint? Yeah, the paint usually cracks right around here. Yours is pretty much brand new. 
So you would see rust lines coming down here when it cracks. Yeah. You're actually allowed to have a, a minimum crack, but you have to watch it every... So uh, it's just better off to change it if it actually cracks. You know why that's not cracked? Brand new. Good landings. <laughs> It's all about the landing. Now we've disconnected our hose here. But you notice we didn't uh, put a filter on yet. And I asked Jonathan why wouldn't, if we put oil in this thing, wouldn't it leak right out the uh, filter connection? And that is not what happens because the Oil pump is pushing the oil through the filter. And that's why it won't leak out. So we'll add our oil now, and then we'll do filter last, right? Yeah, the filter's last. Okay. You do that while it's draining. So. You may as well just go ahead and charge me for this oil change. You're doing it all. <laughs> Everybody's got to make 11, man. This is great. I mean, I appreciate you showing it to me. Yeah, not bad. It's not. I would just need a, a bucket. Are you guys recycling that oil? What do you do with it? We have an oil recycling bin. Okay. And that's public yeah. for everybody here? Right in between the uh, fuel. Oh, okay. So oh, that's right. Done? I got the training. Oh, that was Good to go. Cool. You said you were going to show me this. That's where I sometimes, that's where the oil's coming out of, I think. Yeah, because it goes down to this tube right here. It's, is, that the re, is that the breather? Oil breather? So you have a crankcase breather. Okay. Uh, that's going to be your breather to the exit. Uh, air oil separator and oil drain back to the accessory case. Yeah, so it, it, it's be, it'd be coming out of here, and that makes sense, because sometimes I see it down there. So it has veins with oil? Yeah. That's pretty dry. That's all it's doing is just... Separating air and oil? Yeah, yeah. So the veins just, it, it won't climb the veins. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, a quick little video on um, the oil change, my first oil change on the Cirrus. Um, the good news is, uh, now that I'm finishing up the editing on this on this episode, plane is fixed. The field power control unit was the problem. And um, I did a run up a couple of days ago. Haven't done a test flight yet. I should be doing that this week. And, um, Got some really exciting stuff coming, including a wing mount camera. So we're going to get some really good shots there. More to come. Thanks for joining. Don't forget to uh, subscribe and like and uh, leave comments down there. I do my best to respond to all the comments. Um, if you have any questions, just uh, put them in the comment section. See ya.